Silence. I'm a little boy with glasses, the one they call the geek. I'm a girl who never smiles. The Bystander by Mr. Sleep. I just stood there again because I climbed the ladder. So a message I'd send that her life is sadder. It's tough in school just to fit in. Who manufactures cool? Who decides who wins? Surely it's not me. I do not spread the lies. I am no bully, though I wear a disguise. What does it matter if I climb to the top of an evil ladder where my conscience stops? Soon tomorrow, as today ends, and the choice will come, should I stand there again, or should I climb down around? Thank you. The victim, my Sophie. I am not very popular. I want to be like her. I want to fit in to know what it feels like to win. Every day I feel sad. She makes me mad. She bullies and teases, so she is pleased. What would she say if I told her to go away? What would I do then? Would she tell me to never talk to her again? I have to try, and then maybe I won't lie. Maybe she'll say sorry, and that could be the end of the story. The Victim by Alex. Walking down the hallway, seeing the beast of the school. No one likes him, but they all laugh with him. No one helps me, they all laugh. No one understands the pain I'm in. It doesn't stop there. The posts, the tweets, whatever it is, it hurts no matter what. It hurts when he blurts, it's like a kick to the stomach and a punch to the chest. I wish it wasn't me. Why can't it be he or she? I just wish it wasn't me. As a hunter tracks the prey before he goes in for the kill of the day, the other animals watch but do nothing as their fellow animals part of the hunting. The hunter takes pride in his work, but on the inside he is hurt. The hunter is at the top of the food chain, but the prey are victims of his pain. The hunter's home is full of disease and disaster, so he wants to show that he is the master. The animals would rather take flight than face the hunter in the fight. The hunter, the bully, the troubled child is not the true king of the wild. The victim, my Marissa. There is always that one girl who hides her hair in a curl, and she comes up to me and asks who are you supposed to be. I hide my face and hope she doesn't chase, for I have given up when every day she says shut up. I feel like I'm useless when every day I hear this. My hair may be messy and you may be dressy. My hair, I may be fatter, but it doesn't matter because you're me, even though you may be lean. Many people are bullied like me, and that's not the way to be. Someday, someday, karma will come to bite. The bystanders. We've all seen it, but not all have been it. We think it's not our trouble, I'll stay out of their bubble. A bubble of words. Nerd, geek, jerk, small fry. Name calling, threats, gossip, damage. They make the victim want to cry. A bubble of pain, punch, pushes, kicks, punches, all hurt. They laugh at him again, because to them he is dirt. A bubble of people, they want to feel bigger than a steeple. An unfair match with no way out, they have the numbers without a doubt. A bubble of networks, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. He doesn't even want to look, because what they write hurts. We all watch it, we think someone else will stop it. Never seems to work, and they keep being treated like dirt. I saw the bullies standing there, ready to beat me with no care. I don't know why they pick on me, why can't they just let me be? It happens all around, putting people down. We don't need to fear, we shouldn't cry or tear. It happens at school in the yard, which always leaves me scarred. When they never pick me first, I could just burst. It happens online, Facebook and Vine, teased for being weak, weak, a geek, and a freak. I made fun of to my face, I'm a huge disgrace. Nobody seems to care when there's my life to spare. I get picked on a lot because the bully thinks he won't get caught. He picks on me because I'm small. The bully thinks he's above us all. He shoves me in a locker because I play soccer. He takes all my money 
so he can buy honey. He bullies me when no one can hear. The things he say makes me fear. He calls me names that are mean and cruel. I often don't want to go to school. When I go home, it doesn't stop. The bully finds me on my laptop. The bully posts mean things about me. I hope my friends don't see. The bully might think he's big and tall, but he's really not above us all. Tell the teacher or parent so the bully will end. of my skin, the size of my shoe, or the way that I chew. Is my hair straight? Am I the right weight? Is my face clear? Do I act queer? Do I wear the right clothes? Is this the right pose? Are my teeth white? Am I the right height? Would I get all the guys? Do I have pretty eyes? Do I look good in these jeans? Am I a normal teen? I just want to be me, like I've always been, but now that I'm a teen, I may not fit in. Why do people bully? To make them more cool? Why do they even bully at schools? Bullies just want attention, and they also rise the tension. When I get bullied, I get sad, but the people who, don't, who bully me don't even feel bad. And bullies bully so they can have more power, but why do they bully me almost every hour? I wanted to fight back, but I knew it wouldn't turn out well. If they did stop bullying me, it would be swell. I thought I was gonna blow my top. I knew it's had to stop. I went to a teacher. I told her that I'm the entertainment, the double feature. The next day of school, the teacher told the bully that it's not cool. The bully came up to me and apologized. He never even realized. Like a bird in the air by Nicole. I'm not very cool, but I'm not a total fool. The pets are otherwise they make fun of my style. I wouldn't say I smell and I dress very well. I always brush my hair, but they never seem to care. They've always got something to say. It always works that way, they make me want to cry. I don't know why I even try. I've always tried so hard, but they still call me a retard. and bully day and night. All mine are in a fist fight. Why does he? All I want to be is free. Like a bird in the air with no worries or care. This bullying must end. Everybody needs a friend. To always be there for you, no matter what you do, word. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the bully by Andrew. Why me? Why every day? I tell them to stop, but they don't go away. Is it because of my face, all covered in brace? Is it because of my hair? It's just not fair. They push me down, all the way to the ground. I try to rebound, but they push me back down. I always walk home with a bruiser spring. Where's all the sunshine? My life's full of rain. I want to be popular, I want to fit in, I want to be happy, is that such a sin? I shrunk down in terror, wishing I could disappear. In my head I said a silent prayer, wishing that this would stop for the year. I don't know why you pick on me, and no one seems to care. Maybe one day, one day I'll be free from all these thoughts and hurtful words everywhere. Do you bully because you feel power? Maybe it makes you feel better, but how does hurting someone else raise your weather? Fat, ugly, useless, unwanted. You pan these words in my head. They leave me haunted, filling me with dread. You think I'm the loser, but really it's you. I fake a smile and laugh, if only you knew what I went through. Oh! I see the bully coming for me. Should I make a stand? Is that being a man? I start to run, that's nothing new. I try to fit in, I really do. And I had all day, I had all night. And I'm not the one to stand up and fight. I try not to care, but he's always there. But the bully may be strong, but he's always wrong. <laughs> Who thinks bullying was cool? Sometimes I want to cry, though it always happens at school. Sometimes I think, why me? There must be something wrong in their life that makes them feel angry or mad. That is why I feel so scared or sad. So I go home and tell my dad, Dad tells the principal about it. She told them to quit, but they don't quit one bit. Now they do it more daily, but they really can't see me. They don't know what is wrong inside my head every time I go to bed. They always dump my homework and call me a jerk. They always, they think they are the best, but they are really just stressed. Oh. 
I am a victim. Do you think it hurts? The way they laugh, how they speak, the lies they crack. I am a victim. Do you think it hurts? The way they hit, how they punch and claw, it's sick. I am a victim. Do you think it hurts? What they send, how they post, will the madness end? I'm a victim. Do you think it hurts? How I feel, the pain and sadness, it's all real. I'm a victim. Do you think it hurts? The price I beg. The, the price I pay, how I beg, should I even stay? The bully. For I am no good, I spent most of my childhood living in the hood. The only thing that makes me happy is making other people feel crappy. My life isn't right, that's why I always fight. It just won't end, sometimes I don't even think before I sin. In school I did not do well, each day was a living hell. People I heard often cried, when they saw me they had to hide. I cannot believe I'm in this mess, my horrible life is filled with stress. For everything I do, someone dies inside. But at home during the night, I'm the one who cried. I desperately need to stop or else my tiny heart will pop. This is a terrible thing I continue to do, for I'm not much better than any one of you. You get hurt because Obamacare is always there. The Feeling of a Victim by Mackenzie. Here she stands like prey, waiting to get bullied again. At home she wanted to stay, so she didn't feel the pain. Why is it me, myself, and I? At night she always cries. Why can't it be you? But if it's not me, then who? Every day it keeps on getting worse. It's as if she has a curse. She tries to hide behind her locker door. Her bully thinks her hiding spots are poor. Each day she comes home more hurt than before. The next day you never know what's in store. This bullying is just a loss. There will never be another job. Now this bullying affected her friends. She wished she didn't go to school. The bully wins, there is no end. Inside she thinks she's a fool. The Victim by Renee. I was hurt. I'm always on alert. I'm constantly put down as they say with a frown. What should I do? What should I say? Should I just go away or should I stay? Why won't it stop? I'm at the bottom, not the top. Day after day I pray. Why do they make fun of me? Because of what I weigh? Will the pain go away or will it keep going? I have to move on without anyone knowing. My troubles keep growing and my tears keep flowing. Will it ever get better? They always make fun of my grandma's knit sweater. It keeps me warm in bad weather. Bullying can stop if we end together. The bystander by Sierra. I want to help, I really do, but what will happen if I do? If I help this innocent kid, will people still want to be my friend? I feel so stuck, so stuck in my thoughts, no words could explain what I really thought. What would I say? What would I do? Would I get bullied if I helped too? I'm not sure what I would say. Would I ask him to please go away? I'm very hopeful for a much better day. I need to stand up for that's all that is right. I need to stand up for what's wrong and what's right. I've seen it all. I've seen too much. Now I'm a bystander that no one can trust. I need to be trusted. I really do. So I go to the teacher and tell on you know who. I don't know his name, so I describe him from brain. It turns out his name is Tyler McClain. The day is done, the day is through, so there's not much more I can really do. You get hurt because Obamacare is always there. <laughs> the bystander. I watched it go down as the crowd cheered. The victim drowned in the bully's fear. In his life, the bully is mad. In his life, the victim is sad. It happens all the time, but no one takes time to care. It is still a crime, and the crowd still stares. I just stood there and stared. Doesn't mean I don't care. Not knowing what to do, I push through to help you. If everyone who stands there and who really does care, put a stop to bullying and you'll all be there.
you hurt someone on a regular basis and you think you're cool, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and email too. Making fun of name calling, spamming, and saying things aren't true. Bystanders, bystanders, they are wrong. They've just been standing there, like-minded, for so long. But bu bullying on the playgrounds, bathrooms, and on the bus. Places we are bullied, it happens to a lot of us. A message to all bullies, they should stop. How would they feel if the roles could swap? Oh! A group of boys who try to act cool, but to me, they are all fools. They pick on just one, but why do they think it's fun? They throw his books and act like crooks. I stand there and glare as the words flare. I want to stop it, but I don't want to be their new topic. The main one throws a punch as the boy turns to leave the bunch. There's a million of you, what should I do? You get hurt because Obamacare is always there. <laughs> I had always been short, unlike the regular team. Being picked on became a part of my daily routine. It had always been verbal, they were always lies. I couldn't believe they were tripping me because of my size. Every time I went outside, my insecurities turned on. I was so scared I could barely make it off my front lawn. They would always yell, go away and get a life. Their words would cut through me like a sharp butcher's knife. I was never considered chill, funny, or cool. I was more known as the nerd bag or the cool or the tool. <laughs> I had my one friend, he was very close to me, but the bullies said I had no friends, so they'd probably disagree. I had always put up with the comments and stuff, till one day I decided enough was enough. The bully came up to me just like every other day, but today I looked at him with something to say. I asked him why he had always bullied me. He said because he was envious of what I could be. He then said, I have always been jealous of you. The, that day, the bully changed his complete point of view. I was just standing there, looking at the time, acting like I didn't care, but that was a crime. I knew he was coming, coming too fast. I had to start running, for I knew it would last. Out on the schoolyard, where it all went down, if I played the right card, I would look like a crack. I stood there with feel fear as the bully said, come here. I, I stood there with fear. As the bully looked down, he told I still, I didn't make a sound. I finally approached him, his, ar his arms are crossed. I knew he would win, all hope is lost. It's such a great day, why is this happening to me? Will my tears go away, will I ever be free? You laugh at me because dragons I slay Like it is less meaningful than the sports you play When I tried to tell him a quest you just mocked me Like there is something more special in this game called hockey You poke fun when I talk of elves What's the big deal if you could send it top shelf? You roll your eyes and I summon the undead Maybe I should chase a little frozen puck instead You stick at the screenshot of my ebony sword Because a real man slams someone into the boards I'm a master at casting spells. Are you masterful enough to make the NHL? I played on the computer and you play on ice. Why does this mean you cannot be nice? Necromancers, banshees, and ugly trolls, sticks, pucks, and overtime goals. At the end of the day, we are all differently the same. We just love what we do and it's only a game. <laughs> When I was a kid, I used to think that pork chops and karate chops were the same thing. I used to think they were both pork chops. And because my grandmother thought it was cute, and because they were my favorite, she let me keep doing it. Not really a big deal. One day, before I realized fat kids are not designed to climb trees, I fell out of a tree and bruised the right side of my body. And I didn't want to tell my grandma because I was afraid I'd get in trouble for being somewhere that I shouldn't have been. A few days later, the gym teacher noticed the bruise and I got sent to the principal's office. From there, I was sent to another small room with a really nice lady who asked me all kinds of questions about my life at home. I saw no reason to lie. As far as I was concerned, life was pretty good. I told her, whenever I'm sad, my grandmother gives me karate chops. 
And this led to a full-scale investigation, and I was removed from the house for three days until they finally decided to ask how I got the bruises. News of this silly little story quickly spread through the school and I earned my first nickname, Porkchop. Porkchop. And to this day, I hate pork chops. And I'm not the only kid who grew up this way, surrounded by people who used to say that rhyme about sticks and stones, as if broken bones hurt more than the names we got called. So we grew up believing no one would ever fall in love with us. That we'd be lonely forever. That we'd never meet someone to make us feel like the sun was something they built for us in their tool shed. So broken heartstrings bled the blues as we tried to empty ourselves, as we could feel nothing. Don't tell me that hurts less than a broken bone. She was eight years old. Our first day of grade three when she got called ugly. We both got moved to the back of class so we would stop getting bombarded by spitballs. But the school halls were a battleground where we found ourselves outnumbered day after wretched day. And we used to stay inside for recess because outside was worse. Outside we have to rehearse running away or learn to stay still like statues, giving no clues that we were there. They tipped a sign at the front of her desk that read, Beware of Dog. To this day, despite a loving husband, she doesn't think she's beautiful because of a birthmark that takes up a little less than half her face. Kids used to say she looked like a wrong answer that someone had tried to erase, but they couldn't get the job quite done. And they'll never understand that she's raising two kids whose definition of beauty begins with the word mom because they see her heart before they see her skin because she's only ever always been amazing. And to this day, kids are being called names. The classics were, hey stupid, hey spaz. Seems like each year, each school gets a new arsenal of names, and they're updated every year. And if a kid breaks in a school and no one's around chooses to hear, do they make a sound? Are they just background noise from a soundtrack stuck on repeat when people say things like kids can be cruel? Every school was a big top circus tent and the pecking order went from acrobats to lion tamers, from clowns to carnies. All of these miles ahead of who we were, we were freaks. We were lobster claw boys and bearded ladies, oddities, juggling depression and loneliness, playing solitaire, spin the bottle, trying to kiss the wounded parts of ourself and heal. But at night, while the others slept, we kept practicing the tightrope. It was practice, and yeah, some of us fell. But I want to tell them that all of this is just debris left over when we finally decide to smash all the things we thought we used to be. And if you can't see anything beautiful about yourself, get a better mirror. Take a closer look and stare a little longer. Because there's something inside you that made you keep trying despite what everyone told you to quit. And you built a cast around your heart and you signed it yourself and you signed it. They were wrong. Because maybe you weren't in the popular group or a clique. And maybe they decided to pick you last for basketball or everything. Maybe you used to bring bruises and broken teeth to show and tell but never told. Because how can you hold your ground if everyone around you wants to bury you beneath it? You have to believe that they were wrong. You have, they have to be wrong. Or else why would we still be here? We grew up learning to cheer the underdog because we see ourselves in them. We stem from a root planted in the belief that we are not what we were called. We are the graduating members from a class of We Made It. Not the faded echoes of voices crying out names will never hurt me. Of course, they did. But our lives will only ever always continue to be a balancing act. That has less to do with pain and more to do with beauty. That has less to do with pain and more to do with beauty. I've got braces on my teeth and I know how it feels to cry myself to sleep.
shatters. That's how ugly. Oh. Yeah, nobody even likes you. Why don't you do us all a favor and just die already? Yeah, just get lost. Okay, let's see. Do that. What are you looking at, four eyes? Nothing. Why are you not around? Yeah, I think mean, you better do that. I'm that kid on every playground who's always chosen last. I'm a single teenage mother trying to overcome my past.